everybody. I'm Adam. I'm Ryan. And we are Husbands That Cook. We are editors of the Caramel Feed, and today we are going to be making a delicious tropical drink called an Island Sunrise. It's a beautiful day here in Eagle Rock, California, so before we get started, let's take a walk around the gardens. It's a beautiful day here. See all these angels trumpets in bloom? It smells incredible. Pretty Bucanvilla. This is the front of the Husbands That Cook house. This is the view from the front of our house. It's quiet up here. And as we pass this colorful succulent garden, we come to our tomatoes. Got some sun golds growing. So sweet. Oh my god. <laughs> These are some of our favorites. They're called green zebras. And right over here, we have zucchini. Here's a pretty zucchini blossom. And here's our first little baby zucchini. So cute. So we moved into this place about six years ago. And there was this huge open space on the property that really had nothing there. And basically we turned that open space into a fruit orchard. We planted 12 trees and we're going to take you down there right now. This is called Eagle Rock, California and we're about 15 minutes from downtown LA. But it sure does not feel like it. It's super quiet. And there's tons of wildlife around here. We always see coyotes. We've seen some bobcats, raccoons, skunks. And this is where the fruit orchard starts. We call it the path. These first two trees are still babies. We have a kumquat and an apricot. And behind me is our Washington Naval Orange. And the drink that we're making today calls for freshly squeezed orange juice. So we're going to pick one off of our tree. And as we continue down the path, the next tree we come upon is our Eureka lemon tree. The fruit on this is delicious. This is a California native called buckwheat. The bees love it. Some more bucanvilla. And this is loquat. Snow queen nectarine. And over here on the side of the path, we have a beautiful native shrub called Cleveland sage. Let's see if you can see the flowers. They have a beautiful purple color. The bees love this. And behind me is our Satsuma plum tree, and it is filled with plums right now. Look at all these plums. Hopefully we'll get to them before the raccoons and the birds do. This is another plum tree called Santa Rosa plum. And behind it, we have wonderful pomegranates, and that's actually the name. And as you can see here, it is filled with pomegranates. So delicious on top of salads and in drinks. This is the last tree on the path. It's star ruby grapefruit and there's a bunch of fruit on it, but they're just not ready yet. I have to wait until the fall. Get your coconut water. Man, it's good for your daughter. Coca got a lot of iron. The first step is to juice some oranges. We are ready to start mixing the drinks, so the first step is two ounces of white rum. Next, we're going to add four ounces of pineapple juice. Now we're going to add an ounce of that fresh squeezed orange juice. The last ingredient is something called cream of coconut. This is what you use for pina coladas and other delicious coconut based drinks. We're going to use one ounce. Angelina, Angelina, please bring down your concertina. And to create a beautiful sunrise effect, we're going to add a half ounce of grenadine. So now let's go into the living room and we'll show you where we take all the pictures for our blog. 
This is our photo setup where we take all of our pictures, and now we're just going to add some ice and some fresh grated nutmeg. And for the finishing touches, we're going to add a slice of orange and a cherry. And this is the island sunrise. It's so pretty and so delicious. And this is where we take all of our pictures for the vlog. For the full recipe, go to husbandsthatcook.com. Before we take these drinks outside, it looks like we got a package. What do we have here? Hi, Sylvia. We are back outside, and we're going to say our final goodbyes under this beautiful tree. That was so much fun. Thank you for watching. Have a great weekend, and we'll see you next week. Cheers. Cheers. And remember, if you want to take over the Feed Feed Snapchat, just send them a snap with a recipe that you'd like to make. Have a good weekend.